Hello friends, so welcome. In today's tutorial, we are going to see how we create an org structure uh, in PowerPoint. So right now, if you see my screen, I am presenting org structure. This is for an IT organization, for a program running in IT sector. So you can see I have a delivery head at the top and then we have a hierarchy at offshore and we have a hierarchy at onshore. So you can have a different structure but PowerPoint gives us a flexibility or a feature where we can quickly create an org structure even within a few minutes. Now how we do that, let's uh, have a look at it, what options we have in PowerPoint so that we can create an org structure. Because org structures are needed very frequently. Whenever you are starting a program or you are starting a project, you need an org structure. While executing that program, you will have things are changing. People are coming and leaving and you have to update the org structure. So if you, it has to be maintained in a very simpler way and that's where the PowerPoint features comes with a powerful technique. The updates are very uh, easy. Within a few seconds, you can update your org structure. So uh, I have one org structure which I'm showing in my screen right now. You can have another version of it where you can just squeeze the size and you can put a uh, message at the bottom. Uh, you can have a different view of it. That's another view. So now let's see how we create this in PowerPoint. So I'm going to a blank slide. Here's a blank slide. So if you need to create an org structure, just go to insert and then you'll see an option called smart art. If you go to smart art, there's a hierarchy. If you click on hierarchy, these all are the options to create org structure. So these are the different options. I'm going to use one of the options and then you can convert any of the option to the other type whenever you want. We'll, we'll see that in the, in the video later on. So let's say I'm choosing this one. So just say, okay, now that brings a structure to us. If you click on this arrow here, you can type the uh, rows and the uh, structure and the name and then that will be reflected on the right hand side so let's try that so let's say i just remove everything first and so let's say i have a role uh, delivery head at the top now i want to add a hierarchy below to it so i have to just say enter when i say enter it comes next to it not under this role so for that you have to press tab in the keyboard now you see it comes under that now let's say I want to add a hierarchy for both on-site and offshore. So I can say onshore delivery manager. That's one role. And if I press enter, I can see appear to it, which is offshore delivery manager. Now I want to add a hierarchy to the onshore one. So just go here, do I enter. It comes next to it, but you need a hierarchy under onshore. So just press a tab and to bring it down. Now I can say, let's say program manager and under program manager, I want to add, let's say dab manager and then I want to add a QA manager. Then under dab manager, I want to add, let's say tech architect and I want to add dab lead. Under QA manager, I want to add test lead and automation lead. Now under dev lead, I want to add another role called developer. So you can see wherever I want to add a role under, let's say I want to add something under test lead, I press enter and then I press a tab key in the keyboard, it goes right and then it comes under that role. So I want to add here, let's say QA analyst. Now you can see I have a hierarchy ready for onshore, but there's no hierarchy for offshore doesn't mean that you have to type it one more time so let me spell it right okay so what you can do is just just go here and copy from here till this point and that's it you don't need to create it again just copy it enter after this and again you want to build a hierarchy below to it so just press a tab and do a control V now you can see here the full hierarchy has been added here so if you want to add something, let's say I want to add something under QA analyst, you have to just press enter, press a tab, it comes under this, you can see it here. And if you want, if you want to remove something, just do a backspace key in the keyboard and it will remove that box from there. Now you can see, uh, if you just click on this, you can press this icon, this option will go away and this option brings back. 
now you can change the font let's say i want to change the font from here i can change the font uh, let's say i want to choose this font i can increase the size what if i want to add the names to it because these are the roles let's say if you want to add name also to it so what you can do is let me go here so under qa manager i have a test lead and then i have automation lead i have to remove this blank box here and then if I want, I can add uh, a role under this. Let's say I want to add automation engineer. I can add it. I can add here also. So press enter, press tab, and then you can add automation engineer. Now let's say you want to do a control B. So we just select it, do a control B. And uh, I can increase the size if I want to increase the size. What other options we have? If you want to add a name, let's say this is a role you want to add a name. So what you can do is just press enter after that and you can add name here. You can add it wherever you want. So that flexibility is there to type and to custom that role. That options are there. Now just double click on this, you will see the change color options so we have couple of options here which one you want to pick for this video let's say i choose this one so now you can see the color is changed at every layer now what if you let's say let me do a slide so now what if you're not liking it and you want to change it so nothing much just do a double click you will see a lot of options here and you can immediately change to some other type let's say i want to change to this one you can see it's so easy so you can change a two different view there are multiple view available if you want to change any role and uh, any uh, name at any given point given point of time it's just a few seconds of thing to do so that will become your live work structure which you can update delete add within a few seconds so that's a powerful feature is given by ppt which can be used now let me go back and uh, change to something else let's say i want this one you can see this is changing there's another view this is changing here you can add the photos as well if you want to add photos else you can use this one also so i'm going back to the original one and now if you want to do little formatting you can just go to format background you can change the background color let's say i want this color you can change it if you want to add a mos uh, add a message at the bottom you can add a message at the bottom so this powerpoint gives us a lot of flexibility a lot of dynamic thing to create all the structure hope this video has given you good insight that how we can create all the structure even in less than few minutes and this is going to be very useful while you are creating our structure for your own organization thank you very much for watching this video